these hatched yet? <gasps> nope, that's Waffles' second clutch. Here's Jafina 2's second clutch. Charlotte and Bueller, it's getting big. Oh, there's a lot of condensation here. <gasps> oh, I see a head. Oh my gosh. Shakira and Orange Creamsicle babies are hatching. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. With these babies, we should get patternless. I think Let's that's it. Them. That's it. Uh, oh my gosh! You're not patternless. Yeah, you're white side. That's a white side. That means Shakira's head. They're both head white side. We didn't know either of them were head white side. That's totally a, a white side baby. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have a normal there, cute little face. We have one that's pipped right there, and a white side. Oh my god, what else is gonna be in here? What in the world was the drawings on the top of this one? What did I draw? Oh, things that are sold in 12th, because there's oh. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. Oh wait, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, what? wait, there's 13 eggs though. Why is there a caterpillar? A uh, hornworm, because our hornworms are oh, sold in 12. okay. But there's 13 eggs, so I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, oh my gosh, that means their genetics are different than we thought they were. Okay, I cannot wait to see what else comes out of these eggs, but we're gonna let them cook a little bit longer. Okay, so here is mom. This is Shakira. She is an exanthic morph bull, uh, bull snake. Almost said ball python. Yep, she's an exanthic bull snake, so she's kind of a grayscale in color. She lacks the red pigment. Big beefy girl. Yeah, and we learned last year that she is het patternless, because she created created some patternless babies. But that's all she has as far as we know. She's just exanthic, het patternless. Nothing about being het white side. Yep. And we paired her to Orange Creamsicle here, who is a hypo patternless. This is his first year breeding, I think. Pretty sure first year breeding. He is though, look at this. Oh my gosh, he is 100% het white side. I forgot about that. And possibly het exanthic. Possibly het exanthic. So we bred him to Shakira this year to prove if he was in fact het exanthic. And yep. if he is, about half of the babies should be exanthic or grayscale like she is. There he is. But he is a beautiful hypo patternless bull snake. So now that we know she is hit white side. There's all sorts of babies that they're. Oh my gosh, what could we get? Unless we're seeing exanthic. Oh, maybe that, that is exanthic. Oh, maybe not white side. Maybe it's exanthic. Yeah, I guess oh, we'll have to see. Oh, we'll okay. We will wait until it comes out to see if it has white sides or if it's actually spotted and just exanthic. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, now we're at the time though that we have to cut these eggs, so let's go take a peek. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see what we find in here. We already have, I mean, I think that's a, well, that could be a normal or a patternless. Even the patternlesses, do they have the bar across their eyes? Patternlesses. Yeah, patternlesses. I have oh my no gosh. idea. There's two white noses yeah, sticking out. Yeah, I saw that. On oh this my one, gosh. you can see the side if you. Oh. Uh, Ooh, look at that. You that can't looks... see. Oh, is that exanthic? That looks pretty exanthic to me. Oh my gosh, that would be our, we've never produced exanthic before. Is she het patternless? She is het patternless. Okay. So we are expecting some patternless in here. And you know what? I, oh, think... I think that's patternless. Oh, no way. Oh, that is totally a patternless baby. Yes, there is no pattern on that baby. So, all right, we have a patternless in here. We could get exanthic patternless yeah. in these. Assuming oh these gosh. are exanthics. That's true, that's true. Look at your face, you are adorable. You are hiding your pattern though, so I don't know yeah. what you are. Oh my gosh. And this one in here, I think you're right. I think this one is exanthic. Yeah, look at that. That's definitely exanthic. Okay, so I don't think there's white side influence, at least yet. I'm pretty sure that's not a white side anymore. That is exanthic, but how about you? Oh, that one has pretty white looking sides though. I don't know about that one. I'm gonna make the window a little bit bigger so that I can see what morph this baby is because I'm really curious. Okay, are you exanthic or are you white sided? You are bubbles, lots of bubbles. I think I see pattern wrapping around the body though, so I think that is exanthic and not white side. So I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Now let's see what's in these other eggs. Let's start with the corn. Oh, this is one of the most exciting clutches I think this year. Yeah. With all oh, the it's Yeah, it is. Okay, the corn baby is three, two, one. A normal. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, we're gonna get some of those Plain too. Old normal. That is a normal, normal bull snake. Okay, how about the sock egg? The sock is three, two, one. <gasps> oh, oh, this one's white. Well, that could be patternless exanthic. Oh, you're right, it could be. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, wait, that's its belly, I think. I think I see some pattern up there at the very top. So I think that might be an exanthic, but I don't know. We're gonna have to wait on that one. Yep, you can just help this one. He oh yeah. Pipping. Oh, I didn't even see that you had pipped. Wow, look at you, buddy. Yeah, let's help you out. Okay, this baby is... Ooh, that's a patternless. 
Look at that nice clean pattern there, or lack of, I suppose. Okay, so we have a pattern list in there too. Nice. Next up is the partridge in a pear tree for the 12 days of Christmas. Oh, this that one, one pipped too. Yeah, this one pipped a little bit on the side, which is cute. I'm gonna cut a hole in the top though, because I think it was confused when it pipped there. Partridge in a pear tree, baby, is. <gasps> oh! Patternless as well. Yeah, that's another patternless. That's a beautiful looking patternless in there too. All right. Three patternlesses. Yeah, wow. How about the rose egg? Oh, this is like a. Do you do a stencil for that? No. Oh. Well, thank you for thinking I did a stencil yeah. though. That tells me I did a decent job on it. Yeah, it looks, it's got really crisp edges. Well, thank you. Okay, rose baby is, <gasps> what is that? That looks like a normal to me. Yeah. Okay, you can see that brown color and the pattern. Okay, I think that one is a normal. How about this big donut egg? Oh, what baby's gonna be inside here? Donut baby is, <gasps> oh, whoa! Oh, that's a xanthic. That or something. That looks white side to me. Uh, what? I guess we'll have to see. Maybe, oh, maybe it is just xanthic. But it has like the lighter colored sides right there. I don't know what that is. Can you see his face? Yeah. That's so cute. Okay, buddy, you're a very special baby. Let's wait until you come out though, and then we'll see what you are. Here's a nose, and there's a nose. And then we have, I'm gonna get this hornworm egg off of you. Okay, we have three more eggs. Okay, hornworm egg is three, two, one. Oh, Ooh, like, patternless. Yeah, totally patternless. Nice. I'm also, hoping, what? Also, there's blood, just gonna say. Yep, that, normal guys. That is completely normal. They cut through those on the, went on their way out too, so. Yep, normal, didn't hit the baby, I promise yeah. guys. Wow, I'm hoping we, okay, with one of these two, I wanna see exanthic patternless. I mean, one of these might already be exanthic patternless. That's true, we may have already hit it and just can't tell yet. Yeah. We'll have to wait till they come out of the eggs. That would be the ultimate combo though. This is the battery egg. Batteries don't come in a dozen. They can, maybe. Sometimes <laughs> I was desperate for ideas, okay? Ah, I see. <laughs> okay, battery baby is normal. a normal. <laughs> All right, a normal. We have one more chance to get exanthic patternless. Come on, cookie egg. Okay, last chance. Cookie egg is three, two, one. Oh. Oh, you've got spot. Weird, oh, normal. I think it's a normal. Yeah, <laughs> it's a really pretty, like pinkish normal yeah. or orangey normal. But yep, I think huh. that's a normal. Oh, look at the face. Go on, just sitting there in the egg, yep. <laughs> not ready to come out yet. Nope. Now we just let them sit and come out on their own. Now they all have an exit to come out from. Oh, look at your face. I want to show. Oh, never mind. There he yeah, goes. Tucked back in. Yep, he did. So yeah, now we're gonna give them 24 hours, and we'll check back again, and we'll see what all comes out of the egg. But from what I can tell, we have normals, of course. We have, I think, exanthics, and we have patternless too. But are any Possibly of them? Possibly white side. Maybe white side. Yeah, there were a couple weirdos in there that I that might be white side, and I would love if there were any combination of those three morphs. So we won't know for sure until a couple days. All right, it's my favorite time of year when all of these surprises morphs are hatching and we didn't even know that the parents were hit a certain morph but I see some really exciting wearing stuff. Wearing the wrong shirt though. Oh yeah like I should be. Shirt. Nah, I should be wearing the bull snake shirt yeah, shouldn't I? Yeah. That's okay. Yeah that's this will still do. Yep. <laughs> we're hognose fans too. Yep. I should dress better though for the next one. <laughs> Shakira and orange creamsicle made. <gasps> A lot Whoa! of Whoa! Look at those. Oh my gosh. Oh, all the baby smell wafted towards me. <laughs> I love it so much. Wow, look at all these patternless. Oh, yes, hello. So we were expecting, were we expecting patternless? Yes. Were they we? They were both het patternless. That's true, yep. We were trying to figure out if they were het white side, both of them were het white side, or if one of them's het is No, exact. Okay, sorry, it's been a couple of days. I think yeah. I remember orange creamsicle on his tag, it said hypopatternless het exanthic. So we yes. bred him to an exanthic het patternless. So we were expecting patternless and exanthics, and yep. that's it. So patternless, so instead of them check. Being exanthic, I think they're white sides. I think this might be a white side as well. It's kind of tough to tell because it's not super clear. And this is our first time breeding or producing exanthics. But I'm pretty sure exanthics would be full pattern down the side. Yeah, that's true. You know, You're like right. Look at this one. Yeah, this one's Total yeah. ow. This one's absolutely a white side. Yeah, oh wow, that one's like, look at that one's belly. Wow. Whoa, that has a red, what is are you, that? You, is, that not in shed. is that a red line? I don't know. I mean, the parents aren't red lines, so it can't be genetically, but this is like a red 
Baby bull snake. It might fade. That, that might fade, that's it true. It might have just been rubbing up on the against that. Maybe, yeah, that's there. true, the ink. <laughs> yeah. Wow, though, okay, you're totally right. We have, this is definitely a white side. There's yep. no doubt about it. That is a white side. And then this one is also white side. You think? Oh, oh yeah. Yep, yep, that kind of, well, are you sure? I would have to believe so. The, I mean, the tricky part is the white side morph changes their color to make it look exanthic, but yeah. it also makes the sides white. So it's hard to tell if you are exanthic or just white side. And this sassy little baby, I don't know about this one either. Okay, we're gonna have to look up some reference photos since this is our first time seeing in person baby exanthic bull snakes. Do they normally have the whitish sides too? No. These are white sides. That you think? That's what an exanthic looks like. Okay, so See they that? do have, well, there's a couple different strains of exanthic. Yeah, but that's the normal, and this is the Miami. Miami's the same oh. thing. as that pattern all the way down, the small so, dots all okay. the way down their belly. Okay, so both Balam and Miami exanthics have yep. the side pattern. Okay. Well, and that's, these guys do not. That's weird. So in that case, we didn't get any exanthics. No. Which is... another. Yeah, who's you down here? You are such a turd. Come here. <laughs> so this one down here. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's definitely a white side. Okay, so we have white side, white side, white side, and the one you white have, side. that's a white side. So in that case, I actually don't see any exanthics. So then we'd also hit the odds eventually of one of these patternless or one of these normals being Whoa. exanthic, and that would change the color from cream to almost gray. And you know what? That made me realize with all these babies, I'm surprised we didn't get a combination of patternless and white side in that case. We only got one or the other. I mean, that one might be. Like, the pattern on him is uh, definitely lighter. I don't know. I think he's too brown to be considered exanthic. Maybe. I don't know. He's, he's shimmery, though. And look at this. Some of them, like this one, are like orange. Yeah. What's with these orange colors? I mean, there's natural variation, I guess, in any animal, so that could be it. But that much of a color difference? That's spectacular. One's golden and one's bronze. That's what makes me think that golden, this one, might be white side pattern. You think? Yeah. Well, shoot, let's look up reference photos for those too. Okay, so we're looking up um, white sided patternless, and this is what we found. And this kind of seems to be the standard for that morph. Uh, what we're noticing is the patternless, they do still lack color at all on their sides, even if they are a white side. Yeah. Um, or a just pattern, I don't know, that combination, you're supposed, you're gonna see some like sprinkling of the scales. You're gonna lose the pattern, but then you'll lose the color on yeah. the side. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. have any of that. Um, yeah, so do any of the patternlesses have speckling on the sides? No, 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 no. Nope, I do not see any that look like that. So I don't think we hit any white-sided patternless. But it's only a matter of time. Look at the color difference between the tops of these two. Oh my gosh. Wow, like, one's super faded. One is super faded. That's yeah, wow. Crazy. Yeah, one has a really dark dorsal pattern and one's a lot lighter. Wow. Yeah, I think the white-sided morph has a lot of variation as well. Yeah. I think that changes the snake I think a considerable. Lot of the do. Yeah, I I do. I'm going to pull these guys out and look at them closely. Wow, but there's some really pretty browns in these like and these are some big babies too. This is a honker baby. Wow. So this one's like orange. His face is like orange. And his is this the red-bellied one? Look at that. That's he has an crazy. orange belly. He's like Woma Python. Do any of the other ones have that? Why do you have such a red belly? I That's steal you? so pretty. Yeah, you you kind of not as okay. much yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, not like this ones. Yeah, Ugh. especially up there. Yeah, and on the sides they're red. So one of the parents, even though they have morphs to them, they must have some red influence. Yeah, is my guess, and that passed down to some of these right. babies. Come here, I want to see you. Eh. Wow. Surprising, we didn't get a patternless. Unless it shows up later, a patternless white side. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Yeah, how do we not get a patternless yeah. white side? But with how obvious the white side is, is, like in these babies, we would know, I think, right now, if one of the patternlesses was also white side. Yeah. So yeah, there's just some weird variation <laughs> in all of these. There's some that are red, some that are kind of grayish. Some that are sassy. Some that are very sassy. Wow, look at you. <laughs> you are just a spitfire. Oh, you are a cantankerous baby. Wow. No honkers, though this year. That's true. None of Yep, just hissing. Just, just hisses. normal hisses. All right. Well, let's I can't believe that. That's a really pretty looking clutch. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I might have variation. to I'm going to like take a picture of these and post it on Patreon and yeah. see if Patreon backers cuz that'll come out before this video does. Oh yeah, we're way ahead on videos We're right gonna now. We're going to go click here we go. I'm going to post that on Patreon and see if they can find all the morphs. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. Awesome. Okay. 
You guys are angry. We are going to set up your baby bins and then leave you alone. And if you're as excited as we are about these surprise baby bull snake morphs, you may also be interested in our brand new Bull Snakes Rule Stainless Steel Tumbler. It does a great job at keeping your drinks cold. You can use it to refill your water dishes for your snakes. I don't know, it's a really cool tumbler and yeah. I really like it too. Yeah, it's a cool looking <laughs> sweet morph. It's got all the morphs on there, all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah, all, all the basic morphs and some of the combination morphs are on here too. Yeah. So it's like educational at the same time. Yeah. So you can get these at snakediscoverystore.com. All right, baby bins are set up. Now time to put the babies in. And instead of moving the bins into the rack and putting all the babies into the rack over there, we are going to risk it. Attempt. And yeah, we're gonna attempt putting the babies into their bins here and then transferring them over and pushing them into the rack. Don't know how well it's gonna go, but we're gonna try. Luck. Yes, so, oh my gosh, there's such a good variety there. I can't believe it. Okay, we're gonna take this beautiful red pattern list out first. Man, he's just like golden in color. That is so pretty. Are you a boy? That's a girl. She is beautiful. All right, we're gonna put her in her hide and hopefully she stays in there. Got another beautiful pattern list here. Oh, and then we have a normal, but we know that it's het exanthic. All of these babies are het exanthic because their mom is exanthic. Oh, and they're all het hypo and patternless, even if they aren't patternless, I just realized. So these are multi-het babies too. Yes, they are. Wow, these are little genetic powerhouses. Here's one of our surprise white sides. Man, and this one is like red, red. Look at that belly. He doesn't even care that he's on his back. Okay, there we go, now we're flipping. I can't believe some of the beautiful, deep, rich colors to these babies. All right, we got the final bin set up. Here you go, little dude. You go in this tube. Go, go in the tube. There we go. There, in the tube. All right. That is a lot of real estate. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's a lot of room for baby bull snakes. That's They're all just is. chilling in their caves too. Oh, look at this one. Aww, little oh. tail sticking out. I think my favorite is this one. This reddish-looking patternless baby. This is a really pretty baby. So this is. It's like a, a golden patternless, like an all gold snake, and it even has kind of a pink belly. But I think that's because uh, it's about to go into shed. It's about to go into shed. Yeah. yeah. Which one's your favorite? Um, I don't know. Probably that really sassy white side. Oh yeah, that one's your favorite. Yeah, he's sassy. Oh, the angry white no, side. No, not sassy anymore. I guess. Oh, but... he just wanted a cave. Yeah. Aww. He just wanted to be free. Yeah. Oh, oh there, there it is. All you have to do is touch him. <laughs> Oh, so touch, thank touch, you guys touch. for watching. We are very excited for these surprise white sides. We also learned that the dad is not het exanthic like we were told. He is het white side instead. Yeah. So we have to change his tag. And now we also know the mom is also het white side. White side. We were not expecting that het either. Patternless. Gosh, every time we breed Shakira, we get more hets out of her. Yeah. So we just have to breed her with all the genes from males <laughs> and then finally figure out yeah. how many hets she has. We're getting close. I think so. Last year we figured out she was het patternless. Yep. This year we learned she's het white side. Who knows? Maybe she'll be het albino too. I don't yeah. know. I don't know if we've paired that would her be to. the next one. That would be. Yeah, I'll have to look back and see what we paired her to last so year. So we have to find a snowball, a true snowball. Yeah, male. breed, her, breed to that. her to that. That'll work. Man, <laughs> I love genetics and I love breeding snakes because we learn something new every single year. So thank you again for watching. Let us know which baby is your favorite in the comments below. Is it one of the normals? Is it one of the reddish normals? A white side or a patternless? Let us know down below. Thank They're you Patreon hiding. backers. What? They're all hiding. That oh. was a really boring pan. Oh yeah. Yeah you can't <laughs> see any of them. So uh, Michael might have to use some footage right here showing you your options. All the babies. Yes all the babies. So pick your favorite. Let us know which one it is. And thank you Patreon backers for your amazing support as you always do. You help us so much and we will see you next time. Baby Bull Snakes!